Okay, this is Argon Matrix welcoming you back. What what did the link just do there? I, I think he made a funny sound. Like, I don't know. It could be the atmosphere of this place. Because in the last episode, which was episode 9, this is episode 10, uh, we kind of cliffhanged, or cliff hung, in the middle of this really ominous area with kind of creepy music and, uh, and weird green stuff right here. Anyways, uh, you're gonna see these guys around here. Like, those things that are just standing there. Don't get close to those, otherwise they'll freeze you and they'll, like, rape your face. I might show that. Actually, it's probably gonna be unavoidable at some point here. But I'm- Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, that's scary! What? What? Oh, the game froze! No. Okay. Yeah, that- that was really creepy. It's just like- It just, like, showed the strangest possible angle. But anyways, if you get back- if you get around all of them, there's three in that room. Uh, you can go here and check, and it says, This poem is dedicated to the memory of the d dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set, a newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is ins inscribed on the, tom on the tombstone. I thought I said something is inserted on the tombstone. I'm like, what? It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Oh, jeez. The sun song in my heart. This is a useful song. Let me tell you that now. Like, oh my gosh. There you'll be playing this a lot throughout the game. Um, well, maybe not a lot. But it's a very useful song to have. Basically, it turns night into day and vice versa. So you can pass time easily there. And see now, I think it's going to turn it into nighttime. And you can actually play that out in the area where the re-deads are. Those, are. those things that freeze you are called, the re-deads. Um, if you play it out there, it'll actually stun the re-deads for a while and they won't be able to freeze you. Restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them, bring them calm with the sun song. Cool. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to show that because I actually want it to be nighttime out there and playing it again will just change from night to day again. And that would just be a pain. But trust me, if you play the song, then it will... S stop that! Oh my gosh! Like, it just shows the strangest possible angles ever on them. Or like, the creepiest angles. It's like, you thought you could get away from me? Well, you're mistaken, Mr. Man. So get back here and let me rape your face. So anyways, it's nighttime here, in a kitchen just like yours. Always quiet. Or is it? The North American house hippo is found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. Something, 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 something. Oh look, it's the gravekeeper. Cool. Um, you wanna... He won't care if you pull the tombstone set, though. So you're gonna wanna pull the one that I told you to pull earlier, but we couldn't because of that annoying kid. And you will fall in the hole that is unveiled. Will we find a dead body here? Will we find our lost relative? Oh, uh, can, can we do this now? I don't know. I don't think we can. Oh, wait, is that a chest? What's in the chest? I wonder. Oh my god, it's a Hylian shield. Yes. See, that's that's the free one that I was talking about. So it's really easy to get. No big deal. You might miss it. I don't know. I I only found this on one of my recent plays through, play, plays throughs, yeah. Um, so it's easy to miss. And there is a strange wall back there. I wonder what, the, what that could mean. More on that later. But yeah, if you already have a Hylian shield, it won't give you another one. It'll just tell you. It'll just like give you rubies or something. But anyways, um, you can see that the shield is really big, and it's actually so big that you can't hold it effectively. So when you when you press the R button to the shield, you just kind of duck like that and become a turtle. Turtle link. Ha 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 ha. Anyways, I just like to keep the take a shield equipped because it's actually more useful but that highland shield will become useful much later so you probably want to get that anyways uh, I don't know if I can actually do this right now I'm just gonna wait till later to do it and screw it whatever so we're just gonna leave the graveyard now um yeah that's all we really need to do in at the graveyard for now we will be going back there, don't you worry. There's more stuff to do. A lot more stuff, actually. You have no idea. But there's a few skull a few skull walls that we're gonna want to get here. Namely this one. And there's another one I think that I can get. Actually probably two more. 
Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe three more if there's one in this tree. I didn't. I didn't mean to try and grab that. Like, yeah, Link can. Link sometimes randomly tries to grab the grass out of the ground for no apparent reason, just to, other than to show off. But anyways, there's a sculpture in that tree, so that's useful to get. Um. Yeah, you're really going. to gonna want to get 10 sculptural tokens at least I think it might be mandatory I don't know but yeah so anyways uh, oh what why did I say 10 sculpt sculptural tokens I meant strawberry oh that's not where the sculpture is hello it's up there duh I, I see it now and this token is really pain in the ass to get because you actually have to climb up the ladder. But at least it's not like slow climbing vines and Twilight Princess that I've already talked about. And that's how you get up here. So, and ouch, that hurt. Oh, shoot. Uh, what do you want, Navi? Oh yeah, you're going to talk about Soraya again. Never mind. Okay, oh, lagging. Oh yeah, that's probably a sign that I should stop recording soon. But anyways, the last sculpture that we're going to collect for now is right behind this house. And that should give us how many? Let's check. Um, that gives us ten. That's perfect. That doesn't give us ten. That gives us strawberry. Um, and now, now that you're in Kakariko Village, this is actually where the place is that you're going to want to take the sculpture token is to do something with them. So you want to take them to this house, one of the houses that we actually found a sculpture on. And come here, and this is the house of Sculptula. Ooh, creepy. And, oh my god, what the hell is that thing? It's a kind of mutant pelirojo spider man. Uh, we look at this because of the spider's curse, but since you've destroyed ten spiders of the curse, the curse is starting to weaken. Did the kids who were returned to normal give you any rewards? You should know that that the only way to become very rich is to destroy as many spiders of the curse as possible. There are some tricks to finding them all. First of all, you have to hunt at night. Secondly, keep in mind that they love soft soil. Pay close attention to your surroundings. Please, we're counting on you. Yeah, basically for every 10 that you collect up to 50, you will get a reward here from like one of the people who gets returned to normal like this. And then from 60 to 90, you... Yeah, f from 51 to 99, you won't get any rewards. But once you get the 100th one, then you can come back here and get a reward from, like, the main guy that we just talked to. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. And this is very useful. It's the adults. Well, adults are allowed to carry a lot of money, unlike a k newbie kid. So now you can hold up to 200 rupees as opposed to 99 we had before. Like, 99 red balloons. Um, my timer says up to 28 minutes, so... Yeah, 28 minutes, not for one episode. That's for three episodes, actually. So we have a few minutes. Oh, looks like it does hit 29 minutes, so. Um, what else can I do in the next minute that I have here? I don't know. I think I might just cut it short. I, I'm not really sure if I should be doing that, but I don't really have much no much other choice. I, can, I suppose I can talk to this guy, like, just for something random to do. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. Well, that's a great way to end off an episode, isn't it, guys? So in the next episode, we'll do something else. Because that's pretty much what we're going to be doing for the entire game. We're going to be doing something else. Yeah, like just adjusted his pants or his tunic. How very cute of him. So this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and Fuzzy Bone. <laughs>